We love you, Toronto. We want you to know the truth today, that you can be reconciled to God. You can be forgiven by the King. God always is. Mobile, uh, could be a mobile base. Speaking of horses, they might uh, start selling horse meat again in the U.S. or institute some of those things. Apparently, they handed out whole life six running million around like a chicken with your head cut off. And this like is the, the second version. And you never get what you want anyways. It is you know? extremely what is true joy? You know, forget about the happiness and the temporal and scientific happiness of man and the things uh, having abortion, namely all of the uh, problems that are associated with abortion, like, you know, not being able to have kids, because I know after God, words, cancer, by God. That's why I preached to you, it's even while you're being ignorant. Every part of a you know? woman to have an abortion. But you can confess your ignorance to God. So you can confess the what ignorance is, it's sick. There's no term for infant or child in the womb. And there's no difference. As soon as there's a conception, the Bible says uses the word child. So whether or not the child is born or not, it's, it's a child. And, uh, yeah, it's a really good one. I want to try and get all the company or the the, the church the church of the peace looking down back to the society because we're ignoring Jesus. Yeah. Amen. So, uh, I testify. You can go through one of these. Don't unwanted children usually end up being battered and abused children later on in life. And uh, answer, this is totally false notion. Dr. Edward Ronos, professor of pediatrics at USC, showed in recent study of 470 or 674 battered children that 91 percent were planned pregnancies and 90 percent were legitimate. Jesus comes back to be the real prime minister, the real king. You know, you Stephen Harper's not going to save kids, oh. and he's sure not going to save the hearts of men. You know, Green that of sexual immorality, wickedness, you know? God died for those things. He paid your debt. You know, you're shopping. It's all about materialism. Why are you even going in the mall for Christmas? Did Jesus say you need to buy Christmas gifts? Is that what this is about? You know what? If you're going to celebrate Christmas, you know, Jesus never said to put up a Christmas tree. What does this Christmas tree have to do with Jesus Christ? Did Jesus Christ, was he born ever, under an evergreen tree? I know, I know, we speak a lot. But you know what? Some of you have a Christmas tree. Jesus, bro. Come on, man. You know? The Bible is true, man. The Word of God is true. All right, we got a funny guy in a funny suit screaming in my ear. Listen, it's Christmas season. Stay at the sidewalk. Look, you got to do what you got to do in life. We have free, freedom of speech. And sometimes people don't like what you say. Some people don't like what you do. But you know what? That's where we got the dialogue. And this person was known to be called Emmanuel, which means God with us. Now the question that I have for you is God with you. What am I protesting? I'm not protesting anything but sin, brother. Sin is what separates us from God. I protest sin. I'm not Roman Catholic. Oh, you know what? It's a sidewalk, and no one's rubbing anything in your face except you rubbing your opinion in my face, brother. And you got a, you got a right to speak. You got a right to speak. That's all right, brother. Love you too, brother. Jesus died for your sins, and he was born. And he's the son of God. He's the Messiah. And he came to save you. And if you don't got Jesus Christ in your life, you're lost. You know, Jesus Christ is calling us to a new way of life, a new lifestyle. And if you don't got the style, you don't got the life. You need the style of Jesus Christ. You got your own style, see you got a style, you're walking with your style. That's awesome, you got a style. But the question is, oh, call the bylaw officers, brother. Don't swear at me. We got, we got Mr. Children's guy swearing at me in my face. All right, guys. Listen, this is, this is, this is a free country. You know, every time the gospel's preached, there's, a, there's an issue. But if you preach something else, it's not an issue. We, got, we can promote every other thing, and nothing else is wrong. You know, I want, I want to share something with each of you today. We're entering the Christmas season, and many of you are shopping for gifts. You know what? Are you going to take the opportunity to purchase yourself a Bible, or get to know God a little more, or drop some of the sin that you've been living in every day? You know, that's the, that's the real gift that we can give somebody. We can give somebody 
And we can give God the gift of repentance. We can give somebody the gift of love. It means to give your heart to the Lord. Well, the Roman Catholic Church message. actually gave Santa Claus a special like power. So bizarre because all we got is Santa a godly Claus. figure. We say Santa Claus is coming pagan to town. What does that have to do with the celebration so, of Christmas? You know that. It takes away you know, from uh, when Santa comes to town when they when he mentions Santa about he knows when you are sleeping, he knows when you are awake. So be good for goodness Santa sake. Actually, who story. only knows that? God would only know that. And even Satan would know that. So Santa equals Satan. Christmas, Christmas That's story. wrong. We've been lied to again. I bet you most of you don't. So there you go. But most of you are waiting for gifts from Santa Claus, putting up a Christmas tree. I mean, it's a big business out there. That's it's okay. That's his peace sign. This, this Christmas tree business. Serialism. <laughs> you don't get a Christmas tree to celebrate Jesus. You don't get a Christmas tree to, to, uh, to have a Christmas celebration. All you need to, to do is celebrate Christ, to accept Jesus into your life. 30 minutes. Canada is the key to achieving my goal of doubling American exports and putting folks back to work. To work. I'll probably be hiring uh, Mexican workers and stuff like that. You know, basically just uh, you know expose uh, the criminals uh, for what they are. Criminals like Harper and Obama don't represent their uh, their countries. They ex they're all globalists. They're global puppets, Illuminati puppets. So you've got to expose these guys for what they really truly are. You know, they're on the side of uh, evil and the big bankers and big corporations. So. The border. Police. Audubon tends to harmonize commercial regulations with the U.S. It could have significant impact to on Canadians. <laughs> yeah, bureaucracy. The two governments say it's time to rein the in bureaucracy when it comes to information on the shipping. Uh, with a single window where an importer can electronically submit all the information needed for a cross-border transaction. So that's the scheme. Yeah, yeah it is. Yeah. yeah for sure. Yeah, we're getting closer to the North American community, North American Union, so we probably can't stop it, but all we can do is just, uh, you know, put this out in the open and uh, expose them for what they're doing, so hopefully we can slow it down a little bit, because uh, the rate it's going in my lifetime, they're going to have a, this all completed, so. They're trying to say they're trying to uh, make it easier to go across the border, but with Mexico and the U.S., trying to make it harder, build the border up. Yeah, cause a lot of stuff, uh, drug uh, problems are right now in the U.S.-Mexico border, so so we'll see what happens later on. So, so do some research on the uh, Fast and the Furious operation. Eric Holder, uh, Attorney General of the U.S., Barack Obama, and a lot of guns going to Mexican drug cartels. Yeah, 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 for sure. So I guess they want to improve, improve that so, so they can get all three of our countries in together properly so that all the goods can go up and down with no, uh, no problems, right? Well, let's keep her ear to the ground and uh, check out what the enemy's coming, when the enemy's coming. Okay, so. Peter McKay. <laughs> There's Peter McKay, amateur. Peter, uh, Peter Kent, climate in action. <laughs> Canadian accused of planning to bring leader's son to Mexico. People have heard of this. I don't call it Occupy Miami or Occupy Toronto. I call it Operation um, uh, Montreal, uh, sorry, uh, Operation Wall Street, op Operation Toronto, and Operation uh, Miami. Anyway. Happy aluminum oxide! Yeah, the leader of the uh, Operation Miami, his name is Mohammed Malik. He was a director of CARE. Now he works for the ACLU. The CARE stands for the Council of American Islamic Relations. So he basically is quoted saying he has led a hate-filled anti-Israeli protest in which participants were filmed wearing Hamas paraphernalia while chanting "Nuke Israel" and "Go back to the oven," a reference to the Holocaust. Now. In March of 2010, Malik organized a care dinner in Miami. The keynote speaker was Siraj Wahaj, 
who was named as the unindicted co-conspirator of the 93 World Trade Center bombing. Wow. Yeah. And if also, if you notice, Anonymous's logo, I looked it up last night, it has the UN wreath with a globe in the middle. So then they're kind of telling you who's... Uh, <laughs> plain sight. Yeah, basically. This is a Toronto Star, Saturday, November 19th, 2011. I actually pulled this one out. It says right here. Yep, it says most occupiers I've spoken to. Most occupiers I've spoken to, uh, to say they are still all talk and no plans. Some fear a concrete plan would diffuse their movement. Didn't Martin Luther King, uh, when he uh, did the bus boycotts, have firm plans? When he did anything? I mean, you have no firm. We are anonymous. We are legion. Now the funny thing is, Jesus cast out a whole group of demons in uh, the Gospel of Luke, saying, "What's your name?" He goes, "We are legion, for we are many." That's one of their uh, their slogans for Anonymous. We are many, we do not forgive, and we do not forget. The endorsement uh, has been uh, got from uh, Bill Gates, Al Gore, uh, Sarkozy, Merkel, and uh, it was like Ralph Nader, and a few more, and Occupy, all for the Robin Hood tax. They all oh, want the Robin Hood wow. tax. I, I, I haven't, that's news to me right now. I know that, like I said, Mikhail Gorbachev was behind it. Uh, who was it? Um, the for, uh, David Miller, who's now working for the World Bank, wanted a, a secret uh, member of the o Operation Toronto to meet with them. Why is it secretive? Who are they hot calling out? Then you got uh, Paul Martin endorsing it. So, uh, it's not who's behind this, man. Honestly, the all world major leaders. Oh, man, I didn't know about that. I have to look at that one. I have to go get that documentation on that one, man. Oh, you know, who, who is the 1%? Occupy what? Story continues.